Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas, I'm your astrologer. Today I will talk about Sunday, the 29th of September. Today the moon will be in um, Leo only till 9.45 a.m. Universal Time. After that, it moves to Virgo. If you're watching me from Sydney, Australia, for example, you have to add like uh, maybe eight hours or something. Um, that would be the time. Um, uh, let's say it's uh, 10 a.m. You know, if you add like uh, maybe eight hours, you know, or something that would be like 6 p.m. Sydney, the same day. Uh, that's the time when the moon leaves Leo and, and to Virgo. OK, so please check the uh, time uh, so you can always follow me uh, correctly with the uh, moon. Okay, lunar motion. Anyway, so how's it going to be for all signs? Uh, starting with Aries, Aries, uh, this is going to be a busy day when the moon leaves Virgo, when the moon leaves uh, uh, Leo uh, to Virgo, you will feel a little bit kind of uh, busy, maybe a little bit overwhelmed. Uh, it's because the moon in Virgo is a busy sign. It, okay, it um, uh, it shows that's going to be a busy day, and the sun is opposing you. This means that definitely you will be under your work will be under scrutiny, meaning that everything you say, everything you do, will be kind of reviewed and revised, and uh, uh, it has to be precise and well done. In all cases, uh, try to prioritize this day and don't overwhelm yourself with work. Taurus, uh, the moon in uh, Virgo is beautiful. It's very helpful. It forms a trine with your sign and we have Pluto forming another trine with your sign. So that completes the great, uh, the grand trine, which uh, turns everything to beautiful. So if you've been tired in the past, um, uh, for the past 48 hours, you can say that it's going to turn out to be a beautiful Sunday after all and quite lucky. As for Gemini, the moon in Leo is fun and entertaining, a bit um, exhausting because it exhausts your energy because you're energetic, you know, that's why. Uh, when the moon moves to Virgo, you may feel a little bit tired and you may decline some invitations, some maybe some invitations or some maybe some um uh, maybe uh, you wish to go for a walk, you wish to go to the gym. So some maybe some activities you may may cancel them, postpone them, something like that. You just want to stay home or you just want to ju just change the, the schedule. And maybe you're a little bit irritated. So take it easy. There's no need to worry about anything. The sun is in trine with your sign. Jupiter's in your sign. So you'll be always lucky. As for Cancer, the moon in Leo is good. The moon in Virgo is even better. So everything seems to look bright and beautiful. You can accomplish, you can do your work, you can participate and show how uh, accommodating and flexible you are. But it's the problem is planet Mars. Planet Mars is in your, is in your sign. Uh, so you have to be careful. If you were born on the 6th or 7th of July, drive carefully. As for Leo, of course, this day starts with the moon in your sign. Then the moon moves to Virgo. In all cases, it's going to be uh, a long, beautiful day, very active and definitely efficient. And you will feel kind of rewarded deep inside. You will feel satisfied. It can actually full be fulfilling, a fulfilling day. So I love this day for you. It can be a bit busy, so you need to keep up. As for Virgo, only when the moon moves to your sign, that's when things start working out. Um, maybe you noticed if you've been following me or you felt that um, uh, Friday and Saturday were not that efficient. They were not that um, accommodating. They were not that uh, uh, helpful, you know. So you will feel that things were not moving the right way. This will be the same as long as the, this is, will continue the same as long as the moon is in Leo. So at uh, 9.45, 8 a.m. AM universal time, this moon moves to Virgo. It reaches your sign. Everything changes, 180 degrees. Everything will change to the better. And then you will live like, you will have like 48 hours minimum of beautiful, great uh, uh, potential to move mountains if you want, believe me. 
Moving to uh, Libra. So Libra, you have to prepare yourself that the moon, actually the moon in, in Virgo is going to put you in a pause you know, mode or in a plane mode or in maybe you put you on hold for some time. Things will stall. So your best bet is to work on your schedule, on your chores, on your tasks while the moon is in Leo. Of course, this is um, an astrological advice uh, and it's up to you to see what to do. So just enjoy maybe a nice quiet uh, Sunday. If you're quite uh, busy, try to prioritize and stay quite alert. Moving to Scorpio, I love this day, even though the moon is in, um, in square with your sign in the morning, early morning, nevertheless, it's going to change the, your, the mood around you. Everything will be fine. The moon will be in Virgo. Uh, you, you will be, um, uh, you will be kind of, um, uh, maybe rewarded. Uh, you may find yourself quite uh, successful, you may find yourself popular, uh, very friendly, very outgoing, all of a sudden you're very, um, very sociable. So this is nice. If you want to uh, do that, uh, enjoy. This is a very nice day, knowing that Venus is, is in your sign also. So make sure that, um, you, uh, may, make, sure that you uh, make it up to your loved ones. Uh, enjoy quality time with them, especially if you were born on the 30th, 31st of October. Sagittarius, the moon in Leo is very um, bright. It's very helpful. It's very engaging in a beautiful way. The sun, of course, brings out the best in you. When the moon moves to Virgo, it shows how, um, how, how frank you are, how stubborn you are sometimes, and maybe it shows how critical you can be at certain moments, kind of criticizing others. So try not to go that way. Um, a little bit, not all the, all the way. So make sure that your, uh, uh, your, your, your understanding, you know, even though opinions differ, but still you can be accommodating. So adapt to the situation. Capricorn, so the moon in Virgo will be quite welcome. You need this moon, definitely you need it. It was tough on you in the past, for the, for the past five days. Now it's time for you to celebrate, to enjoy the um, rest of Sunday uh, with a happy, happy tendencies for work, inclinations to do something. Uh, you want to do something different. You want to be adventurous. It's fine. So you want to go to a new restaurant. You want to change the menu. You want to um, change something. So there is some kind of innovation going around and it is fine. As for Aquarius, the early hours of this day may feel a little bit kind of weird. You maybe you have a headache, maybe you're just feeling tense because maybe, maybe you had some tense moments on uh, uh, Friday or Saturday. In all cases, try to uh, make up your mind, decide um, that it's going to be a beautiful Sunday and it can be a beautiful Sunday. Starting um, uh, 10, um, 9.45 a.m. universal time uh, with the moon moving to Virgo, you can feel a, a lot better, believe me. As for Pisces, definitely the moon in Leo, although it's quite engaging and a little bit demanding, uh, still it can be a beautiful time for you. When the moon moves to Virgo, it opposes your sign, it challenges you, it points, you know, um, the or it pushes some buttons, you know, these delicate uh, buttons, you know, um, uh, these buttons that you wish that they're never uh, pushed, uh, switched on so anyway uh, make sure that you don't get uh, don't go that way okay if something hurts you a word or an action or an expression on someone's face just ignore it's not for you no it maybe it's not meant for you it's just like don't take it personal meaning that it's just you maybe thinking about it the mood around you is like that so if it were another on another day the same expressions the same words uh, you wouldn't mind. You would have brushed it away. So do that. This is the whole point of knowing the uh, forecast, the daily forecast. To face your day, even if it's bad 
or negative or tough to face it uh, as if it is another beautiful normal day okay with time you will get to do that let's uh, wrap it up with one on the 29th it should be a beautiful year very engaging very interesting this year will help bring out the best in you maybe that's why it will push you to do uh, to maybe to join to uh, enlist in some clubs and some organizations uh, try to help some NGOs or something also your work should be great should be uh, with great potential you will feel rewarded at least personally rewarded whatever you want to do change or include or upgrade you will do fine wishing you all the best see you tomorrow enjoy bye bye